Broker IPTV. Welcome to Broker IPTV. My name is Mark Eibner, and we are on our official Friday afternoon Skype in with Ed Kohler, and Ed Kohler is with Haystack and a Needle, and also the author of Technology Evangelist. And Ed, welcome to the show. Hi, Mark. How are you doing? Super. Hey, in the spirit of our Friday Skype in, just wanted to kind of take a subject we can talk about for three to four minutes, share it with our viewers. Today, we're going to be talking about different types of searchers. And maybe you could define for our audience what you mean by searchers. Okay. In this case, by searchers, what I mean are people who are over on Google or Yahoo uh, who are in the real estate market in some way. And uh, it turns out that if you take a step back and you kind of think about how people are, you know, what they're typing into search engines, they're at a lot of different phases in the buying process. Right. Uh, and I think a lot of people with their websites haven't yet created content that addresses all the different stages that someone may be at. So what type of information should people have for these different types of searchers? Well, for example, uh, a lot of real estate websites do a pretty good job of the home search process. So it's really kind of buy side uh, what they have out there. Mm -hmm. um, they tend to be a little weak sometimes on the information they provide to home sellers. Uh, for example, a home seller, um, they're trying to figure out, you know, what's my home worth? Of course, that's a very important question to them. Right. Uh, but of course, they're also trying to figure out if my home is worth this, you know, what can I expect to get out of it if I sell it and what can I achieve on my next buy with what I have left after, uh, you know, selling my home. Um, and that type of information, like that depth of information for sellers is something I don't see a lot of today. You're talking about just basic valuation tools like a Zillow valuation, something like that? Yeah, it can also be uh, in the form of blog posts and just helping people understand uh, all the different things involved uh, between, you know, in a transaction from selling one home through buying the next. Uh, you know, giving people some guidance, uh, you know, so you're kind of demonstrating your expertise. Sure. Yeah, excellent point. Actually, being a little more transparent, coaching people through the selling process so they can get to the buying process. Maybe area stats, zip code stats, style stats, something of that nature. Yeah, and uh, that's a you know in the buying process, there's also the phase of trying to figure out where in town uh, is a good place to to live, and and trying to understand you know what can I get for my money uh, is uh, something that I think is is still trying to be figured out online. Uh, for example, say someone works in a downtown of a metropolitan area, right. and they want to spend three hundred thousand dollars, and they hope to have a a, a house with a yard because they have a dog or something. Uh -huh. well, you know, there there may be some compromises they need to make in terms of how far they are willing to drive and uh, different types of neighborhoods and things. Um, that type of information to kind of help guide people towards, well, what neighborhoods or suburbs or whatever should they even be considering? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so that kind of stuff to kind of get people uh, pointed the right direction is another area where uh, when people are the, what said to, you know trying to think about what sort of terms people might type into a search engine where you could have content that kind of addresses that. You bet. Any any good sites you can name off the top of your head that agents or companies are demonstrating this type of information for different types of people in searches? Uh, to me, the best stuff I see today is. Uh, mostly agents who have taken ownership in neighborhoods where whatever neighborhood they happen to, to work or city they happen to work in, if they've created a blog where they've just decided, I'm going to document everything I can about this and share right. what's going on, um, people stumble across those through search because blogs tend to do very well on search engines. You bet. Uh, but I haven't seen much of it where it's, where it's tying it together, where they tend to be a standalone uh, blog and then a separate, you know, IDX type website. Uh, there's starting to be some mergers there, but um, it's not as elegantly tied together in most cases as it could be. Okay, so we're talking about kind of hyper-localism, really, that's what it's coming down to. Yep. Mm -hmm. Super, well once again, some great information, Ed, on our Friday afternoon Skype in. Appreciate you being with us today. Uh, thanks, Mark. And we will see you next Friday. And so for more great information, make sure to keep your browser on Broker IPTV. Find more real estate videos at BrokerIPTV.com.